Hello, good evening my dears. Welcome back to our today's class. How are you my dears? Fine? Okay, very good. Are you ready for today's class? Okay, today we are going to learn a new lesson from the second unit. It is titled One Child, One Teacher, One Pen and One Book Can Change the World. I think you are familiar with this quote. It is quoted by the girl Malala Yousafzai who raised her voice for girls education. We know we are the part of different families, societies, communities etc. Sometimes we have to face many struggles and obstacles. Then who will help you in such situations? Look here my dears, in Cinderella's life, a fairy helped her to change her fortune. But is it possible in our real life? No, it is not possible in our real life. But there are some people in our society who raised their voice for their rights and also bring about positive changes in the society. Malala Yousafzai is ornamental, a girl who fought for education and suffered for that. Today we are going to discuss a part of the speech of Malala Yousafzai which she delivered in the UN Assembly. Ok my dears, now let's start the lesson. Ok my dears, now let's learn more about Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai is a Pakistani activist for female education and the youngest ever Nobel Prize recipient in 2014. She is known mainly for human rights advocacy for education and for women in her native Swat Valley, where girls were at times not allowed to attend schools. Yusuf Sai's advocacy has grown into an international movement. Now you turn your text page number 62. I'll read it. You listen carefully and you can also read with me. One child, one teacher, one pen and one book can change the world. Respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters, today it is an honor for me to be speaking again after a long time. Being here with such honorable people is a great moment in my life. Listen to me my dears. Here Malala is addressing the people of the UN General Assembly and also expressing her gratitude to getting upon an opportunity to speak to them after for a long time. She also considers this moment so special in her life to be in front of such a respectful person. Honor means respect. Okay, listen to the next paragraph. I'll read it. I don't know where to begin my speech. I don't know what people would be expecting me to say. But first of all, thank you God for whom we all are equal and thank you to every person who has prayed for my fast recovery and a new life. I cannot believe how much love people have shown me. I have received thousands of good wish cards and gifts from all over the world. Thank you to all of them. Thank you to the children whose innocent words encouraged me. Thank you to my elders whose prayers strengthened me. Ok my dears, listen to the explanation in detail. Here Malala opens her mind, that is, she is in very confusion from where she starts her speech. She says that she doesn't know what to say and doesn't have any idea about what the people expect from her speech. But before everything, she would like to express her gratitude towards God for giving her a new life. 
and also she thankful to the people who prayed for her fast recovery recovery means get over then she couldn't believe the good wishes and love she received from people she is thankful to the innocent children who encouraged her and also the elders whose prayers gave her the strength to fight against the evil situations and come back to her life okay my dears hope you understood this passage very well now let's move on to the next paragraph listen to me i'll read it dear brothers and sisters do remember one thing malala day is not my day today is the day of every woman every boy and every girl who have raised their voice for their rights there are hundreds of human rights activists and social workers who are not only speaking for human rights but who are struggling to achieve their goals of education peace and equality thousands of people have been killed by the terrorists and millions have been injured i'm just one of them okay my dears listen to me i'll give the detail explanation we know that we celebrate the birthday of malala as malala day isn't it but according to her she doesn't want to consider that day as just her day but she would like to dedicate that day for every woman every boy and every girl who had shown the courage for their rights so she says that it is not just her day but theirs as well she stands there as their representative and speaking not only for her but also for all of them here she speaks about the people who not only have taken the responsibility for protecting the human rights who raised their voice for the rights of the people but also struggling to attain their goals of education peace and equality she also mentions about the people who lost their lives and also the people who got injured by the terrorists terrorist means a person who uses unlawful violence okay my dears shall we move on to the next paragraph okay listen to me i'll read it dear sisters and brothers we realize the importance of light when we see darkness we realize the importance of our voice when we are silenced in the same way when we were in swat the north of pakistan we realized the importance of pens and books when we saw the guns okay my dears listen to me here malala makes the people aware that we understand the value of light when we are in darkness when we are not allowed to raise our voice we realize the importance of our voice in the same way they understood the importance of education when they were at the gun points okay yes hope you understood this passage very well now let's move on to the next paragraph i'll read it you listen carefully the wise saying the pen is mightier than the sword was true the extremists are afraid of books and pens the power of education frightens them they are afraid of women the power of the voice of the women frightens them okay my dears listen to the detailed explanation here malala reminds them about the saying the pen is mightier than a sword which means writings or words are more powerful than violence because the people who use violence as a tool to harm the people are scared of books and pens the power of education or the changes through the education in society scared them they are scared the power of the voice of the women 
okay my dears now you listen to the next paragraph i will read it you listen carefully honorable secretary general peace is necessary for education in many parts of the world terrorism wars and conflicts stop children from going to the schools we are really tired of these wars women and children are suffering in many parts of the world in many ways many innocent and poor children are victims of child labor young girls have to do domestic child labor and are forced to get married at an early age poverty ignorance injustice racism and the deprivation of basic rights are the main problems faced by both men and women okay my dears listen to me i'll give the detail explanation she addresses the secretary general with all respect and says about the importance of education she says that peace is necessary for education she also mentions that they are tired of all these wars and terrorism and then she says about the sufferings of women and children in several parts of the country she talks about the children who are the victims of the child labor and also about the young girls who were forced to get married at their young age poverty ignorance injustice racism and the deprivation of basic rights are faced by the both men and women so now we are aware about the problems faced by the men and women especially the young girls through this speech malala tries to aware the people for to achieve their rights okay my dears hope you enjoyed this speech very well we will continue the speech in the next class so that's all for today thank you